Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the Star Wars Nano Helicopters. Uh, and I believe these are officially licensed. I mean, they've got the Disney logo on them. Uh, but they're from CCP, which I believe is a Japanese brand. Um, these are essentially uh, built upon the uh, Silverlit Nano Falcon like frame. Uh, but these are unlike that where it has, you know, it has a tail and a third channel tail rotor to move forward and backward. These are just two channels. So they just uh, turn left and right and go up and down and they just kind of move forward on their own. Uh, but we've got the TIE Fighter, the Millennium Falcon, and the X-Wing Starfighter. Uh, so pretty neat little models here. I found these on eBay and uh, just absolutely had to have them. <laughs> uh, they're pretty overpriced. I think they were like... I don't know, $50 each, but I got all three in some like collector pack for like, I don't even know, $100, $120 or something. Uh, way too much money, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I just couldn't pass them up and I thought they'd make for good reviews. Uh, so hopefully it's worth it. Um, like I said, it's based upon the Nano Falcon. So I mean, the transmitter is the same here. Uh, it's infrared control. And then, like I said, it's just two channels. So we've got throttle, and that's a spring-loaded throttle. And then left and right rotation. There is no forward and backward. And then we've got our left and right trim. And then we've also got three different channels that we can pick from. So you could fly all three at the same time, as long as you set each one to a different channel. And then we've got a little charging cable here built in. Uh, well, I can't get that out, but... The, whereas the uh, the Nano Falcon kind of had a little thing that pivots up that you parked it on, this actually has the cable that you pull out, um, and then you know each one has a little charging port on it there. Uh, so they all they take about uh, 23 minutes to charge each one of them. I don't know how big the battery is in there. Probably somewhere like 100 or 120 milliamp hours. Um, but we've got different flight times, being that they're different sizes and weights. Uh, the Millennium Falcon is the heaviest. That's 14.6 grams, and it only flies for about 5 minutes. And then the X-Wing is 14.1 grams, and that flies for about 6 minutes. And then the TIE Fighter is 13.2 grams, and it flies for about 7 minutes. And it's also the best flyer. Uh, which is unfortunate. I don't. I don't really like the bad guys. I, I prefer the X-wing or the Millennium Falcon, uh, but the Tie Fighter is definitely the best flying one. I think just because you know its its center of gravity is so uh, perfect and you know right under the rotors, and it just it moves forward at a good pace, and it's it's lighter, and it just flies well. Uh, the Millennium Falcon is by far the worst flyer. I mean, it's. Um, you know, it's bigger in the front, so it, it moves forward quite fast. And then if you, you know, you turn too much with it, it can get wobbly and end up where the fly bar does its crazy thing and then throws it to the ground and crashes. Uh, so it is definitely the worst flyer. Uh, the X-Wing is not bad. It's, it's not as much weight in the front, but it, you know, it, it moves forward a little bit faster than TIE Fighter, uh, but manageable, and it doesn't seem to get out of control too much. Uh, it's kind of weird looking. It's all like stubby, uh, but pretty cool nonetheless. I think it's pretty neat. It's got the the landing skid there in the front. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see. What else is there to say about these guys? Um, that looks like that's about all the details. So um, I think I'll go ahead and just do the flight demo uh, with the TIE Fighter so you can see you know, what it looks like. Uh, for the best flying one and then you know if you want the Millennium Falcon just you know be aware that you're getting it just because the Millennium Falcon is not a very good flyer if you want one that flies well it's definitely the TIE Fighter or the X-Wing is still manageable um, all right well let's go take it for a flight all right this is the flight review of the Star Wars little nano helicopters I'll be flying the TIE Fighter here, which is the best flying of the three, but we've also got the X-Wing and the Millennium Falcon. And these are just, you know, two-channel coaxial helicopters, so not really too much to them. Uh, let's see if I can take off from my landing pad. Probably have to do some trimming at first. Yeah, not bad. And actually, it looks like, oh, well, maybe a couple clicks of right trim. But otherwise, I mean, it's staying 
nice and straight on its own. That's flying really well for a two channel coaxial. So it just kind of slowly moves forward on its own and I just kind of turn it left and right and guide it around. This TIE Fighter, the way the, all the you know, weight is centered, flies really well. It's nice and smooth and stable. One of the best two-channel coaxials I've flown, actually, especially for this small. I mean, look how precise that is. I mean, it is doing really well for just a two-channel coax. Pretty cool. The Millennium Falcon has a bunch of weight forward on it, so it it's uh, you know wants to move forward much faster than this, and just doesn't doesn't control very well at all. This one flies really nice though. If you guys saw my review of the Ghostbusters helicopters, those were two channel coaxials. And I was just crashing that thing all over the place, so that kind of gives you an idea of just how well this thing flies. Not bad at all. Well, that's really all there is to it, so I'm going to start making my way in, see if I can get a landing. It's going to be a little tricky, but see if I can do it. Oh, I'm gonna try that again. One more, one more go. Oh, okay. One, one more, one more go. <laughs> I just think this thing would look so cool coming in on that landing pad. Let's give it one more shot. Come on, you can do it. The landing pad's huge compared to this thing. Oh, anyway, there we go. That's the uh, little, the CCP uh, Star Wars Nano Helicopters. And as far as I can tell, they are officially licensed. They've got the Disney and Lucasfilm copyright and trademark and everything on there. Uh, so pretty neat. I, I like these things. I think they're basically built off of the uh, silver lit nano falcon like you know hardware and uh, rotors and everything so they're about the same size and the same packaging and stuff uh, but anyway check the video description for a price and purchase link i thank you for watching and i'll see you next time